So I can continue my playthrough of Rise of the Red Skull. This time I go up against Zola. Rise of the Red Skull, part four. Zola. What's going on, Taskmaster? How did Hydra conquer New York City? It's not just New York City, babe. Hydra rules all of America now. Madam Hydra brought Zola the Reality Stone. Then the doctor used its power to put Hydra in charge. Where is Zola now? He set up shop on Ellis Island. Rumor has it he is doing weird experiments there, trying to develop the perfect soldiers for Hydra. I've heard enough. Let's get him. Having defeated Taskmaster, you learn that Hydra has only captured New York City. Not only captured New York City, but all of the United States. It was the mad scientist Aram Zola who built a machine to harness the power of the reality gem and tipped the balance of power in Hydra's favor. He has created a research station for himself on Ellis Island and turned the historic port into a nightmarish prison for his unfortunate test subjects. Taskmaster was ordered to bring the heroes he captured there for experimentation. In this upside-down America, you are the only hope the captives have to escape a horrible fate. So, uh, for setup, I'm again still playing Scott Summers. I haven't made any changes to my deck. Um, still have the basic recovery upgrade. I don't receive any bonuses from the last game because I didn't save anybody. Um, now, one of the things that happens is I have Hydra Prison. So Hydra Prison has Phoenix. I have to get four. Uh, I've got to thwart this for four to save her. And then for this, I now have the test counters here. Uh, after I think it's three after I get three test counters I then have to I'm sorry I've got to discard until I find a minion and I have to put that minion in play and then I get to remove the three test counters from the scheme uh, the other thing that's important to remember is that Zola has retaliate so as long as I attack him with my optic blast uh, if I have my visor then I'm good other than that I'm going to take damage uh, also, one of the first things that needs to be done is I have to put an ultimate bio servant who comes into play with a tough status card. All right, let's get started. Uh, so one of the first things I want to do is I want to use my constant training to find a card. Let's go with the one that draws me two cards, priority target. Danger room training, because I have no allies. My two tactical brilliance and X mansion to play. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, X mansion to play Avengers mansion. Because Cyclops is a wannabe Avenger. If you didn't know that. It's fact. Look it up. Um, all right. So I will exhaust Avengers mansion and I'll draw a card. I get Maria Hill. So if I use Miranda Hill to play Exploit Weakness, and I use Priority Target, I'm sorry, I hold off on Priority Target. I'm going to attack him, which will get rid of this, and then I'll use Priority Target to do a blast to get rid of him. All right, that's where I start. All right, so to get started, I am going to, Zola's going to draw a card. I'm sorry, he's going to attack me, so he's going to deal one, he'll do three damage to me, so I am now at 11 health. Ooh, that would be nice. Uh, and um, now the test counter goes up by one, and now he is going to, uh, I get an encounter card, which... Goes to Surge, Villain Schemes, he's going to Scheme for two, three. So this is now four. I think everything is going to be dependent on whatever Avengers Mansion gives me. So I will exhaust Avengers Mansion and it is Field Commander. Um... All right, so if I use Genius, Rapid Response, 
Let's say in Field Commander, I can get Wolverine out. Yes! I will use Cyclops to thwart for two. Uh, I don't want to do this. I got to do it on the main scheme. So uh, I'm at two now. And I'll have, uh, let's have Wolverine theme, squirt, uh, squirt. Uh, we'll have him thwart for one off of this one here. Yeah, that's a good call. And, um, I think I'll hold on to these two. So Zola is going to attack me. Uh, I know this is probably not the smartest move, but I'm not going to have Wolverine defend for me. So, Zola's gonna attack me for one. Um, Alright. So now I have to add one to the test counter. So he's at two test counters, which means I think he's gonna be at three at the end of this. Um, and then he gets plus one for each test counter. So that means he's gonna hit me for another three. So I'm at eight. And then um, now it's the end of that activation. So my test counters go up to three, which means they go to zero. And I have to find a minion. No! Um, uh, from the top of the account deck until a minion is displayed. All right, so I have to draw from the top of the deck. Sometimes they say you can go through the thing. And I would have just had him. Whatever. Oh, cool. So it's a Berserk Mutate, which means he's going to attack me for two automatically. Uh, I'm just going to take it again, and then uh, now I get my encounter card, which is Ultimate Bio Servant, who gets a tough status card. No! All right, and uh, it's great. All right, I feel like, again, this is going to be dependent on what happens. Oh, this goes away. Wolverine heals one uh, at the start of every round. So I'm going to draw a card for this. This would give Wolverine plus one to thwart, plus one to attack, and plus one hit point. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty nice. Um, I wish I could play practice defense, full blast, ricochet blast, and use my visor. Well, I guess I wouldn't be able to use my visor, right? So. Um, let's say Wolverine attacks for two, or I'm sorry, he gets hit for two, but because he has piercing, he cuts through this, and that means he has one hit point left. So let's put this on him, and I will use Angel to play Full Blast. Which will allow me to hit him for it's 11, but it gains overkill. That means I kill him with one, and then Zola takes 10 points of damage. All right, um, so that's gone. I got it. I got it. All right, late night gaming. I'm exhausted. Let's do this to do three damage to him and get him taken care of. It's probably not the best move, but. All right, uh, oh, I forgot to add my one here. It's getting pretty close. All right, so uh, the villain is going to attack for two. Oh, wow, two. <laughs> I messed up. Uh, he's going to attack for one plus the one boost, so that's two. Um, so I'm now at four health. And if uh, someone else is going to attack, I might have Wolverine take it. Um, so my encounter card is Insight 1, and then place one test counter on the main scheme. So this goes up to 5, and I forgot to put this up to 1, so this should go up to 2 now. Alright, so first thing, Avengers Mansion. More like Nick's Mansion. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to spend the energy and, uh, strength to play Beast. Yes! 
which means I can then go through my discard pile and add a resource card. Now nah, let's just go with this one. Then what I'm going to do is I'll have Wolverine attack for the three, which will mean the villain goes down to zero. <laughs> so I'm going to pause this and get everything situated. Okay, uh, I totally forgot that when Wolverine would attack Sola, he would then have um, retaliate. So I'm going to spend the two energy to play rapid response. Wolverine will then attack him. This card then gets discarded. I get to bring Wolverine back, but he takes one damage. I believe, if I'm right, that um, he's still readied. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to leave him that way. I think it's, I'm only going to take like one th thwart off anyway. Um, but I think that's a good way of doing it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Cyclops to war. Oh man. Yeah. I'm going to use Cyclops to thwart this, which means I have to then search the encounter deck for a minion. That's great. My first acolyte and he gains retaliate one. I thought about using Beast and Wolverine to get rid of Hydra Prison so I can get Gene back. I'm also thinking that Cyclops needs to heal. I like a lot. A lot, a lot. Alright, I'm going to use that. And I'm going to do this. And they're going to both thwart. Or, yeah, they're both going to thwart. Get rid of this. And now Gene's back. Well, I'm seeing that this right here, the scheme here is a 5 and 6. I still think bringing Gene is the better play or the smarter play. So I'm going to flip over because it's going to go anyway. No, I'm not. Let's put this on him because I can attach it to a minion, but it doesn't have the temporary. And I'll put this on him. So I'll do that. And uh, I'll draw my hand. And then. I'll have one attack one and the other attack the other guy. Call it a day. All right, so uh, I've gone ahead and I've done the stuff. So uh, the scheme pops and it goes to the second one, which is one and eight. I know I made a mistake earlier in the video, but I corrected it in the first phase. I forgot to mention it. Uh, I am going to have another counter. It means I'm going to get hit three times. Oh, wait. I guess. I don't remember. All right, so he's in attack, and I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have Beast take it. So Beast is going to be hit for one, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. So Beast is gone. Um. So this goes up to three, which means it goes to zero, and I have to discard cards until I find a ball of. Minion, another savant. I'll have both of the bio mutant servants attack Cyclops. So Cyclops goes down to two health now, which means at the end of the next round, he's got to flip. All right. Uh, and it's death subjects again. Okay. So um, I'm going to need to start making some moves. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, let's use Avengers Mansion. It's downtime. All right, uh, let's use tactical scanner, and that's gonna give me one, two, three, four, five cards. Ricochet, Xavier, coordinate attack, Ruby Quartz Visor, and priority target. Okay. Um, if I play Ruby Quartz Visor, and I play Ricochet Beam. That will do nine damage. So that means I need four cards. So that would be nine damage. But then I'm dead too, right? Because I've hit him twice and he hits me twice. All right. So if I play Tactical Brilliance, Downtime, and uh, let's go with. So Tactical Brilliance, Downtime, and Danger Room Training to play. That's maybe not Tactical. Let's go with the coordinated attack. Um, to play this, I can then go through to play her. I can then go and look for a Cyclops card. So we put full blast into play. Or we grab full blast. 
pay these two to put optic visor in that there. So Wolverine's at one health and he attacks him for two. <laughs> Or and deal actually he dies. No! Yeah, so he would die. But he hits Zola for th three. So he's at eleven. Alright, I think I won. Uh let's have Phoenix attack for two. For for Grins. And she takes two damage. Then I'm going to exhaust Ruby Quartz Visor, and I'm going to exhaust Cyclops to play full blast, which will do 11 damage. So he's defeated. That was my playthrough of Zola. I got a little lucky. I think I only saw one maybe two of the acolytes uh i really get lucky there <laughs> um but yeah thank you for joining me and hopefully you'll join me when i conclude this campaign and i go up against the red skull